Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to sketch a character from my favourite property. And that's Battle Cat. Received this yesterday in the post. He is awesome. And he is one of the new figures from the Masters of the Universe Origins line. And we'll check out that awesome artwork on top. Basically, that is the stance of Battle Cat that I'll be drawing. I'm actually drawing, as you can see. Awesome artwork on the back. Beautiful. Cross cell artwork there. As you can see, this is the character who I'm drawing at the moment. I'm just adding the inks to the artwork. It's front leg raised up to attack his enemies. And now his saddle. I'll draw a saddle there. Huge hunking saddle. His back feet, stripes, yellow stripes. Now I'm drawing his helmet, which is in the image here, has got removed for some reason. I'm going to colour it in, his yellow stripes. green hair. <laughs> Don't know why they ever gave him green hair as a cat. A green cat. <laughs> it's probably because he's from an alien world and they have big green cats. Although he's the only big green cat I know of on Eternia so <laughs> I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. This here is the Masters of the Universe Classics Battle Cat. As you can tell, he's got lots more points of articulation and much more detail than the original 80s toy. Remove his helmet there, which is in the drawing that I'm doing. That's the helmet that he's got. Yeah, big fangs. <laughs> Originally, the concept of Battle Cat was designed and built on Mattel's Big Jim Tiger, one of the beasts that was formulated for that particular toy range. Mark Taylor, one of the concept designers, did a sketch of the Battle Cat and decided to paint him green with yellow stripes. Still an odd colour palette for a tiger, but there you have it. It definitely works for all its originality. Mark Taylor then went on to design the cat's signature armour and helmet, which in the original artwork appears more purple than red. As was often customary with his toy line, uh, Mattel went on to create Panthor, which was actually Skeletor's steed. And this is the classics, Masters of the Universe classics Panthor, and they've actually given him a helmet of his own, which uh, has all the horns and the, uh, the ram's horns sticking out the back. And then bit further up here, Masters of the Universe Classics, they had done um, Battle Lion, as you can see, that is King Greyskull's steed, and it is basi basically uh, designed on the same 
basic lion book. Okay, well, I'm just finishing all, uh, filling in all the shading for his helmet. I'm just adding the red. Adding all the bits that can be seen in the red. shapes that armour. Signed by Mark Taylor originally. Raised bit at the front. Some colour there. Saddle bit. That's the back of the saddle, the backrest. Colour is that's it. That's the I can uh, a bit of shading, more shading, a bit of brown, a bit of red. Yeah. Awesome. A bit more shading there. Shading in the arms and legs and the face. I'm just going to. <coughs> Cover the uh, black marker, something a bit darker, just to make the image pop a bit more. There. <laughs> the horns there, spiky bits. <laughs> there we go. Almost done. Came out quite well actually. And I'll do the surrounding parts, the uh, ooh, the stones and the rocks around the surroundings. There we go. Latin. There we go, some pastels, a sky, a sky behind him, the sunrise there. Awesome, that's done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I know it's been short and sweet. Well, that certainly was short and sweet. Okay, well, if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, I'll catch you all next Monday. Uh, one more thing before I finish. By the power, by the oh, power, by the power. Never bloody works for me.